too, but my daddy says I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, and dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy working on his job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. What, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Show me the ring for when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Whoa, look at this, Billy. Look, the rat fell into my pocket. Now he can't get out. Look at that. <laughs> Drown. Crawling. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. He's dying, Billy! Long, and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began.
a secret? Okay. Promise not to tell anyone? Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. There somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama, Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> and in Howard, they followed me. They they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Yeah, well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun?
place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing what, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. You run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? gone. When? What happened? Well, what happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing.
gute Arbeit, Männer. Schau, schau. General. Schlaf. Jawohl. 